Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you guys how to make some delicious quesadillas de bistec. In case you guys want to help make this super easy and delicious recipe, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Alrighty guys, so let's get started with our ingredients. So for this recipe we're going to need 2 pounds of sirloin tender steak, 4 cups of maseca, 2 chile poblanos, queso oaxaca, a half of a small white onion sliced, a quarter of a small white onion, 2 minced garlic cloves, 1 garlic clove, 6 tomatillos, 12 chile de arbol, a small bunch of cilantro, 1 small avocado, 1 tablespoon of beef bouillon, salt, and black pepper. So these are ingredients, now let's get started. Alright guys, so first we're going to start by tenderizing our meat. So I have it lay on my cutting board, and I'm just going to flatten it out. Alright, so once we fly in out our steaks, now we're going to cut them into small strips. Once we have our steak all nicely cut into small strips, now we're going to season it with our black pepper. So make sure that you add a good amount. Alrighty, beef bouillon. And a little bit of salt. Now just season your whole meat. Alright, so once we have our steak all nice and seasoned, we're going to set it to the side and now we're going to roast our chile poblano. Alright, so we're going to roast our two chile poblanos. And at the same time, we're going to boil our tomatillos and chile de arbol. Cover them with water. And now we're just going to bring them to a boil. All right, so once our chile poblanos are fully roasted, we're going to place them in a bag and allow them to sweat. So just leave them in there for about 10 minutes. All right, so as soon as your tomatillos and chile de arbol boil, we're going to turn it off. We're going to drain the water and set them to the side and allow them to cool down. Alrighty guys, so after 10 minutes, we're going to peel our chile poblanos. So just grab them, it should be super easy. And you can use a napkin and to make it easy. But it should be looking like that. So now we're just going to remove the stem and the seeds. Just remove the seeds. And now do the same to the other chile. All right, so now we're just going to cut our chile poblanos into small strips. You have to flip them over and just cut them in half. Do the same to the other chile poblano. Alright, so once we have that, now we are ready to begin cooking. So before we cook our meat, we're going to make our salsa. So in a blender, we're going to add our tomatillos and chile de arbol, along with one piece of garlic clove and salt. So now we're going to blend it all together until we have a smooth salsa. All right, so once we have our salsa, we're going to transfer into our bowl. All right, so we're going to transfer our salsa in our bowl. And to that, we're going to add our quarter of an onion and chopped cilantro. So now just mix it. And we're also going to throw in our avocado. So now you want to try it for salt and see if it needs any. And if it does, go ahead and add some more. All right, so for our tortillas, we're going to add our four cups of maseca in a bowl, along with two teaspoons of salt. Now just mix it together. And we're slowly going to pour hot water. Keep adding water until your masa is nice incorporated with the water. Alright, so once our masa is nice and soft, 
we're going to knead for five minutes. So I added about two cups and a quarter of hot water. So just make sure that your masa is nice and soft. And when you roll it, you press down, it doesn't stick to your fingers. And right now our masa still needs some more kneading as you can see. So just keep kneading. All right guys, so after five minutes, your masa should be ready. And you're gonna know that it's ready once you're able to roll a little bolita and you press it down and it doesn't crack on the sides. So now it's ready. So we're just going to cover it with a damp cloth. All right guys, so just cover your masa with a damp cloth or with a plastic wrap. Okay. Now we're just going to make our meat. All right guys, so to cook our meat, we're going to grab a frying pan. We're going to set it on medium high heat and we're going to add a little bit of oil. So we're just going to wait for the oil to heat up and then we can begin cooking. All right, so once our oil is hot, we're going to add our onion. And we're going to cook our onion for two minutes. All right, so after two minutes, we're going to add our minced garlic. And we're going to cook that for a couple seconds. All right, so after a couple seconds, we're going to throw in our meat. And we're just going to cook our meat. All right, so once the meat has fully browned, we're going to throw in our chile poblano. And we're just going to continue cooking our meat until it's fully cooked. All right, guys, so after a couple minutes, your meat should be fully cooked, so just make sure you check it. So at this point, we're going to turn it off. And we're going to add chopped cilantro. And of course, you want to taste your meat for some salt. And if you need any, you go ahead and add it. For me, this is perfect. So now I'm just going to set it to the side so we can make our tortillas. All right, guys, so now to make our tortillas, we're going to use a tortillero. If you don't have one, you can use two plates. Just make sure that you're using um, plastic. And I'm just using a Ziploc bag. So I'm just going to grab a small ball of dough, place it off the center, grab your other piece of plastic, press it down. And we're going to press down. One, two, open it. We're going to flip it over and press down again. All right, so once you have your tortilla, pull the plastic off, place it on your comal, make sure that you have it set on medium heat and your comal is hot. So we're just going to cook it for a couple seconds and then we're going to flip it over. All right, so after 40 seconds, we're going to flip it over and let the set cook for another 40 seconds. All right, so after 40 seconds, we're going to flip it over, press the center, and we're just going to wait for our tortilla to fluff. All right, so once the tortilla fluffs, it's ready. So now we're going to transfer into a little basket and we're just going to repeat the same process until we're done making all of our tortillas. All right, guys, so once we're done making all of our tortillas, they're all nice and soft. Now we are ready to make our quesadilla. All right, so now we're going to grab a good amount of cheese, place it in your comal. Add your tortilla, place it on top, and just give it a few seconds so the, the cheese can melt. Alrighty, so after a few seconds, we're going to grab the cheese and the tortilla. And now we're going to add our meat. So now we're just going to repeat the same process until we're done making all of our quesadillas. All right guys, so once we're ready to serve, we're just going to grab our delicious salsa. All right, and just add it inside our quesadillas. And now we are ready to enjoy our delicious quesadilla. Alrighty guys, and now for the best part, the taste test. I am so ready. Hope you are too. Enjoy. Mm. 
seriously super delicious the meat is so tender the salsa is a perfect combination seriously the best Alrighty guys, and there you have it on how it makes a delicious quesadillas de bistec. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family and if you ever create this recipe, please don't forget to tag me on any of my social medias. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of our family. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.